Hello everyone, this is Kimberly from Fish World, and I'm here to show you how to use the new animation feature that we just released today. So here I've set up a Halloween tank with three bats, a little devil, and a creepy girl, and I'm going to animate them all. So first I will click on one of the bats, and then click the new animate button beneath my tank. So it'll take you to a new option here that says click the record button on the right to record a new animation. Over here you'll see a record button, you'll see a cancel button to take you out of this completely, and you'll also see how many animation credits you have. So I'm going to click the record button, and then it'll tell me to click where you want to start animating. I'm going to click on the bat, now it says to move my mouse to draw a path for the decoration to follow. Click when finished. So here I'm going to make the bat fly around all crazy like, and I'll click to finish, and it's showing me now a preview of the animation that I've just set up and I like that so I'm going to save it. You'll just get a little confirmation that says you're paying one animation credit to save the animation so I'll save it and now my bat's moving around. So quickly I'll just do the other two bats here. Click on the bat, click the animate button, click record, and now I'll click on the bat to start animating it. And that one's moving around now so I'll save it. Now I'll do the third bat, click on the bat, click the animate button, click to record, click where you want to start animating, this one's going to be swooping around all over my tank, then focusing on the middle, and then I'll click where I want it to finish, and I like that bat, so I will save it. So there are my bats moving around my tank, now I'll move on to the creepy girl. So what I want her to do is I want her to move across my tank like this. So I'll click on her, click on the new animate button, click on the record button and it'll say where, click where you want to start animating. I'll start here, then I'll move her bit of strange motion up and down over to the other side. So I'll click to stop and now it's showing me what I've set up here. So as you can see she'll move along the path that I set and then she'll just kind of float back in a straight line. And I don't really want that, so I can change that here using the loop mode. When you see it going around in a circle like this, that means the decoration will follow your path and then it'll float right back. Or you can choose this one that's just one arrow and the decoration will move only in one direction. So she'll move along my path then she'll snap back as you can see. The third option is this one here where she'll move along my path to one side and then she'll move along my path to the other side so back and forth along the line that I've drawn. My preferred one for this girl is going across my tank again and again so I'll leave it like that and I'll save it. The last one I'm going to do here is the little devil. So Click on him, click on the animate button, click to record and what I want him to do is move to the front, move to the back and you can see that he gets a little bit bigger towards the front of my tank, a little bit smaller towards the back, so it changes perspective. And I'll let him move along that path. So a couple of the other features you can see here. There's a rotate mode. Right now he steadily moves along the line, but if you choose the other rotate mode, you can see he kind of stays on top of the line at all times and moves around like this. And if I did lots of loops, then he would move around the loops. I'd prefer that he stays like this, so I'll leave it like that. You can also flip to direction, so sometimes he'll be going one way, and sometimes he'll be going the other way. As you can see, he kind of flips back and forth, so that's a neat option. You can also change the speed. I don't want him to be flying around my tank like this, I would prefer him to be slow, so I'll check out the slowest option. And that one's really slow. Move it a little bit faster than that. That looks good. So I'll save it, and as you can see, all of my decorations are now moving around my tank. The last thing I'm going to do is add a music track. Halloween tank.